Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this tutorial, we'll be taking this image that you can see in front of you, and then we will be changing over the bottle in this image to our own product, our own bottle, and then achieving a result like this. This is currently only possible using the Ideogram web app as I'm going to be showing you. No other AI tool is capable of achieving such a result as of now. So let's get started with this. The first thing that you need to do obviously is to go to the website which is ideogram.ai. The links to all the tools as well as the images that we will be using are given in the description so that you can work along with me. But one very important point which is that for this to work you need to use this little icon which says upload image because we will be using our own images for this. Unfortunately, this feature is only available in the paid plan of Ideogram. However, towards the end of the video, I will also be showing you how to achieve a similar result using free AI tools, but obviously the results are not gonna be as good. So before we get started, let me just quickly tell you something important about the paid plan of Ideogram. So this is how the pricing at Ideogram looks and this is very important for the feature that we will be using because the feature that we will be using is called Magic Fill and to use that feature on your own uploaded images, you can't simply go for the basic plan because you can see here, it doesn't have that particular feature. Whereas if you see the next option, which is the plus plan, which costs $20 a month, you'll see that it says upload and edit your own images. In fact, a lot of people get confused by this, they end up buying this because they think they're gonna get access to the feature that we're gonna be seeing, but that's not the case. So just remember this. Now let's get back to Ideogram and let's see how this is done. So what you will need to do here is, you will need to go over to this option that says Canvas. And this is where, since I am on the plus plan, I will be basically able to upload my images here. Since I've already done this, I'm just right now gonna get rid of everything by deleting everything. And this is what you'll see, a blank interface. So how do you start off things? First of all, you need your original image. So I'm gonna just upload this image that I've also given to you using this upload icon here. So we've got our first original image here. We are again gonna hit upload and upload the photograph, the bad looking shot of that juice bottle that is our own product. And this is also here. Now what we're gonna do is we just have to scale this down. So first of all, in the entire canvas, you can slightly zoom out by hitting this zoom out option. And then we can just make this smaller till the time this is of the correct size, something like this. Now the process from now on is slightly not very intuitive. But the important thing is that it works most of the time, okay? So here's what we have to do in order to use this magic fill feature. First of all, once you've scaled this down, move it outside the frame of the original image. That's very important, okay? Now that you've done this, now we're gonna hit this magic fill option here. And first of all, since we need to replace this particular bottle in the original image, we need to make or mask out this area or make a selection basically. You can either use the rectangular mask or if you want to, if it had some weird shape or some other kind of shape, you can also use the lasso tool that will be more manual in nature. Since this is mainly vertical, I can get away by using the rectangular selection tool. And I just need to make sure that the entire bottle is covered. This is the first part till here, everything is okay. Now this is where you just have to understand things a bit. Now that we've got this, what we have to do is we basically have to click on this option that says next. And now we have to tell it what is on the left here, that new thing that we've added and what is on the right of that. So we actually have to type this out. On the left is, uh, we just have to basically, you know, short uh, manner describe that bottle. So a uh, juice, bottle with green juice or you can just type in anything then you also have to talk about the image on the right and that's why i said it's not very intuitive but you just have to do this on the right side is a professional shot or rather a professional product shot of a green juice bottle again just a general description Another thing that you need to do before you hit this magic fill button is that the moment we hit the next button before we typed in the prompt, you would have seen that this little pink frame thing comes here. 
you have to make sure that within this frame, both your reference image that we're using here and your original images mask are included. So right now only the mask is included, this is not. So we actually have to move this slightly like this. So now you can see within this frame, we have both those things available to us, thing that is gonna be replaced, the thing that it will get replaced by. Another important thing is that make sure this is as small as possible, this frame that you're seeing. Why? Because ideogram people themselves say that whatever is generated here, ultimately the generation is gonna come inside this. It is of a fixed resolution. And the smaller this frame is, the less pixelated that replacement is gonna be. Now, most of the times you really don't have to worry. For example, if I just leave it as it is, it's okay, but it doesn't harm if you do have the space to reduce this. For example, even now both the things are included, but I can make it as small as possible. So something like this is also fine, okay? Now we're all set. We just have to hit magic fill. And then once it does its job, you're basically going to get four different variations of this. And usually I've seen right on the first go itself, one of the variations at least will give you a decent result where it'll, uh, you know, the replacement will be good as well as the text and the logo will be good. So let's just wait for this result. You can see it coming here. All right, so this is the default result that we've got. And you can see that this doesn't look good because it has done a pretty good job on the bottle itself, but this whole part on the top and the cap is missing. So what you need to do in order to see all the variations is to just hit that. You can see that if I'm hovering over this image, you can see this overlay of the frame that we had chosen. Just click on it. So on the right side here, if you just open up the sidebar, it will now show you all the four variations. So this is the first variation. I see the second one. Second one, the, there's nothing at all. The third one, now you can see, right? One of the variations, you're gonna get this. If it doesn't come in the first four results, just do it once more. I've seen max to max, it takes uh, three attempts, but usually either on the first or the second one, you'll get one in the set. So this is good. We've at least got one result, but let's see if there's something better. Yeah, so I think this definitely looks much better than this. But can you see now, in this last result, there is a bit of a problem. So let me just zoom in slightly. I think the overall, the bottle looks much better, but here it's just missed out this 250 ml here and it's just changed uh, into that AI kind of text. Uh, otherwise, I think this would have been the perfect result, right? But if you see the third one, this is also good, the bottle looks good. It's just that I feel the liquid, the liquid here looks slightly uh, lighter. Uh, in shade. So what we're going to do now is in such a case, let's just go for one more generation. We already know that at least we have one here. So in order to do this again, all you need to do is just if there's any selection right now, like the frame and all, just get rid of that by selecting or clicking anywhere out of bounds and then just do the whole process again. We're going to hit the magic fill uh, option till it comes over here. We're going to create our mask again. So we can just quickly select this bottle again. And we can select next. The good part is the prompt is already there this time from the last time and the framing is also there. So we can just hit magic fill again and let's just wait for the new results also. All right, so this time, these are the results we've got. This is the first result. Obviously this is just an apple. Let's see the second one. I think this looks really nice. So this time you can see that the bottle looks much better. The liquid, the shade of that green color is much closer to the original. Let's check the text, yes. Yes, everything looks really, really good. Let's see the third result. Here the shade has changed a bit. So I think till now second is the winner out of all the eight results that we've got. Yeah, so I think we're gonna choose this one. So once you have found out a winner, what you need to do is in order to download this image because right now this is like this, right? You can't simply download it. You're gonna hit, uh, you're gonna find this download option here which is on this left menu. And then you need to just select this boundary. Okay, so just, it's gonna automatically you know, fix itself like a magnet to the ends like this, so it's very easy. And then once you're happy with this particular canvas, you can just hit download. And now if we just open up this result, you can see that this looks really, really nice. One of the best parts about using ideogram is that not only can you use magic fill, you get to use it 
if you're using a paid plan, since you have more generations, you also get to create such amazing images and then directly use this feature on them. Because even to get the initial image that we had used, the background that you see here, I had actually used Ideogram to generate it. And in my opinion, there's simply no other generator out there right now which gives such a photorealistic image because if you see this image, it doesn't look AI at all. I've even seen that Mid Journey also has a bit of AI elements or in these other generators, you really need to customize a lot of things. But with Ideogram, straight off the bat, even by using a simple prompt, you get very photorealistic images. And especially for product shots, they just look very, very good. Now what I want to show you is if you were to do something similar in chat GPT, how will things go? For this next result, I again went to Ideogram and I had generated this particular image inside Ideogram. And first of all, before I show you the full chat GPT result, let me show you what happened when I used magic fill in Ideogram itself, just like the way I showed you. This was the result that we got inside Ideogram, and I think this looked absolutely amazing again. But then in ChatGPT, I uploaded this image, and again, the image of that original bottle. Replaced the juice bottle in the first image with the one in the second image, horizontal aspect ratio. And you can see that this was the result that we got, which just doesn't look as good as what we were able to get with Ideogram, simply because as we have seen often in the past, ChatGPT does not locally edit the image, it regenerates the entire image, and therefore it is bound to change the image and it still has that AI look. The day ChatGPT is able to locally mask out an area and only edit that area, that will be a complete game changer and it will pretty much swallow all the competition out there. Another option if you really want to do this locally is to use Photoshop AI with generative fill. That involves a different kind of workflow. If you're interested in that, then you can check out this video which I made a month earlier where I have shown that process. But there's no doubt that when it comes to product placement in product shots at least, Ideogram is currently the winner. In case this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to follow along all my experiments with the different AI image and video editing tools out there, then make sure you subscribe and I will see you next time.